Greetings, travelers, and welcome back to Token Craft 2. As of this episode, the long awaited, long anticipated 2.9, actually, 2.9.1, at a small HQ ender, has been released and is available, and you guys are probably playing it already. Man, was that a long time to get that coming. Very excited it's out. As you can see here, I'm in front of one of the fast travels. I am actually at Isengard. I had spent a little time off camera catching myself back up to the beginning of the quest line where it takes you to Isengard to choose a side because that is also the beginning of the new quest content. Now, if you guys have already gotten past it, you've already completed the quest, no worries. You come here. It's a brand new NPC. Uh, we worked hard to make sure that the quests were not dependent on anything you'd already done, other than being past a certain point, which means you can still get it. Uh, we'll, sh you know, so we're going to play along and do the story and show that off. And I'm hoping you guys are going to have some fun with it, actually. Really am. So, as you probably know, the quest takes me to Isengard to talk to Saruman. As we walk forward. I won't go into too much detail of all the changes. You'll see that as we play. The change log has a lot of stuff that has been added and put in and updated and fixed. So, really, really looking forward to you guys' comments on that. Uh, was a couple of bugs, that's why there's a 2.9.1. And hello, Sarah! If you will notice, let me get my quest book out of here. Oh, and I need to eat. It should have actually completed by me standing here. So, there are new quests here. I've already finished that one. We'll show you that one when we go back. That happens at the Prancing Pony. The Adventure Lads have a quest. A quest set, actually. Uh, one of the two of these are in honor of the Adventure Lads. If you have not seen them or know who they are, Check out Snoop787 and Modi101 on YouTube. You'll find out very quickly what that's from. But the epic journey. This is the beginning of the new quest line. And we have found Sarah. And we will find out what it is that she needs. Oh my goodness, my chest is full. I had come here hoping to garner the help and support of Saruman the White. Edoras has fallen under an ill spell of late, and the men to help protect her are spread thin. This is of particular worry at Helm's Deep. Without adequate protection, it is likely to fall to the orc parties that attempt attacks regularly, and we just do not have the manpower to defend it. Saruman has advised me that he must remain neutral, though I have my doubts to this, and we are left vulnerable. Well, I hope I fare better with dealing with Saruman, but I shall help. By the stars, thank you. I shall report this to my king immediately. Please head to Helm's Deep and assist the soldier there. Hopefully you will arrive in time. So do I. So do I. Alright, let's go up here and talk to Saruman. Now, I don't know that I can do a voice for him, so... Probably one. Welcome, Great Order. I am Soromon, head wizard and leader of the White Council. I have been monitoring your adventures for quite some time now. You have made quite the name for yourself, and I have a request to make of you. Oh, you have. And what would this request be? I don't know if you are aware that the peace in Middle Earth hangs by a thread. The White Council discovered by growing discovered a growing threat in the fortress, Dol Guldur. To the north, we dealt with that threat, but now the council wants to go further. Well, if the threat was dealt with, dealt with what more needs to be done? 
That is my opinion as well. But Gandalf, one of the wizards, has stirred up the rest to start a campaign against the Eastern nations, mainly Mordor. Gandalf has decided it's best to deal with the Mordorian problem by exterminating the people. Well, that seems like a bit of an overkill, doesn't it? It all comes down to a difference of opinion. Gandalf believes Middle-earth should be a place of harmony with nature and magic. He desires to make Middle-earth a copy of Amman, the magical world. The Midorians believe in science and technology, and their power is growing. Their science is not threatening Middle-earth as much as it's threatening Gandalf's ideals. Unfortunately, you will be forced to choose a side. Now, at this point, I have already done the Eastern quest line. You guys can go watch the videos from there. But I believe Gandalf is right. The people of Middle-earth should live in harmony with nature. Then consider yourself a guest here, and be satisfied with the research that can be done here. On the third floor, you will find my collection, and you are welcome to use it whatever end you find fitting for your path. Thank you for your hospitality. Make good use of my library, and consider yourself lucky. Some of the greatest minds in Middle-earth have studied here. As you wish. Oh, what a shame. I know he probably hoped that I would choose his side, but honestly, I can't do that. See, did this one. So, this part we won't redo, but we will be doing the custom NPC quest. So, for that, we will drop that. And I want to be the hero of legend now. Uh, let's go... I'm already the hero of legend. Well, then we will just leave it that way. I guess we'll put that away. Alrighty. So, the best part, well, besides the best part of waking up with folders in your cup, uh, if you have chosen this side, the western side, if you come up to, way up here, and keep going, and keep going, you will be able to enter here. Yes, that's right. It is a big node. Very big node. Now, you get one as a reward from the quest line, but before you get it, it's always nice to have access to something like that because you can set up your little mage area there and have quick access to all the things that you need to do magic. And apparently, he was no more help to me than... He he was to Sarah. So, let's see. I think I have access to Helm's Deep, so we will go find out. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Walked into the forest, and the tree made me slow down. All right, let's see. I know I th I know I have to go back to Bree. Yeah, so back to Bree and Jonathan. Oh yes. Uh, ooh. How do I get that home steep? Do I need to unlock that? I don't remember. Oh, such a long place to go. Um, let's go to Edoras. Let's see if I can get the Helm's Deep from the fast travel there. And he can't help me. Oh, that means I may have to actually walk there. Oh yeah, this way. Yeah, one of the updates I went through and put the slabs in, so no more having to hop up one block because I've seen enough people that were complaining that they didn't have step assist. It was a pain to have to jump up all the time. So, fixed it. And there are several bits of music that have been added, which you probably will hear shortly. Oh, and look. Uh oh Can I... Uh, 
Yeah, that's what you do. Take on Rohirrim. I think I may end up having to do quests. And yep. Doing the quest line. On the joint. Oh, I need to get... <laughs> Why did the music not start? Did I have it start way back here? Ah, yes. Unfortunately, during our whitelist whitelisted server update, there was almost no issues. Oh, that looks so beautiful against the backdrop. Uh, but apparently, despite calculations, Val's base did end up just inside of one of the new areas. Thankfully, we had a backup, but unfortunately, it was an older backup, so some of the work she'd done... Nope. New quest. is my faction, by the way. I need to check that out. Um, Western. Only 100. So that means I need to do a bunch of quests. So, it looks like job board it is. I will pick up a whole lot of stuff. Let's see what quests they had here in this area. It's been a while. And we are here. So we visited. Let's go take a look here. Well, let's go talk to the king, shall we? And we will find out. Alright, sorry about that. Had to pause briefly with getting messaged by Prospercraft, which for those that are not familiar is currently the only uh, server that I recognize as the official Tolkiencraft 2 server. It is a gray listed server because they want to make sure that people that want to join do actually want to join and not cause problems. Uh, but the benefit with their servers is that the uh, it's a membership fee. It's not just for Tolkiencraft. It gets you access to all of their gray listed servers in the Prospercraft network, which is, I think, uh, six or ten different servers, uh, including several minigame servers and just dozens of, of different games in general because they do more than just Minecraft for those that are interested. And let's go... Come on. I think we may be getting close to a disconnect. Nope. There we go. Let's see. Here we go. Hello, Theoden. I hear Owen oh, Greenmouth. Anyway, I hear you have some work that I might be able to do for you. Uh, let's see, you will not believe what report I have heard. One of our scouts returned and said he saw a deadly looking warg bearing a great burden. An orc was unconscious from weakness. This warg carried her prey in the direction of the other side of the burrows, southeast from here. Will you pursue her there? I fear for our safety with such a monster roaming about, though I'll not hold her choice of food against her. 
Well, it does sound like you could use some help. If you can rid the other side of the burrows of this menace, I do believe we will have secured Edris against the greater threat of war. Slash, burn, kill. Got it. And instead of walking, because... Who walks when you have draconic armor? We are going to fly. Alrighty. Hey, yeah, B, B, B. All right, to the barrows. For a cave. To the other side. I think there's actually. There it is. 173 meters away. Oh, look. Windows is telling me. There's a cave over here. No, Windows isn't telling me there's a cave over here. It's telling me that there is. I believe the cave was over here. I want to say yes. Somebody's died here before. Oh, look. Why are you not? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ha! Draconic armor for the win. Anyway. Make sure that that completed. Uh, job board, Rohan. And we did. Yay. How much that gives me for faction? Still 100, so we'll see what it gives me after I complete the quest. And just for those of you who weren't aware, the quests were designed in certain areas just for this purpose. So that you could earn the fast travel for the western area. A pocket full of junk. Junk. I am back, King Theoden, my liege, and I have vanquished the uh, Wargish foe. And apparently, still picking up its Wargish fur. You are very welcome. Ooh, look, 300 points. Yes, perfect. I need, uh, 100 or something like that. Diamond ore. Oh, right. anyway, my storage is going to be full soon. Uh, what else do I have to do here? Oh, claim reward. Um... Let's let's do that. I think he wants ore. Oh, uh, er, er. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Let me in. Okay. Anyway, uh, I think he is on. Four eight six five one. I think he is over on the wall somewhere over here. Thank you for the flight, because this could take forever. And, oh, there he is, I think. Is it? Yes, there he is, Mr. Bacon. Hmm. 
This war, my, or this is war, friend, and in our war you make choices that you might regret when all is done. Yet if we do not make these difficult decisions, then there may be no tomorrow for regret. It is a terrible and confusing situation sometimes, but I follow my orders and they are clear. I am to charge you with collecting iron ore. Either way, the iron is to be used to craft a giant cauldron who will fill the cauldron with oil and boil it to douse the orc's forces when they try to attack. Hmm, deep fried orc. A terrible fate for certain. But no different than they shall do to us. Go quickly, for we must prepare our defenses. Right away. Uh, the problem is I think I auto-process all my ore. So, that could be a problem. Um. Hmm. I am going to pause here at the job board at the exit I shall return all right welcome back slight little bit but yeah I went off to the base cleared up my storage so that it's not too full and I went and got some ore and there we go and ooh that means I should have Western fast travel now. And I also got a new bag. Um, let us go in here. This is now going, this blue backpack is going to be my wallet. So we're going to do this, this, and this. I really said I need a 64. Well. I'll just go throw that in to be processed. Uh, okay, so I believe that should be enough for fast travel. Let us go talk to Jonathan. Hey, it's a family friendly show. None of that. All right, Jonathan. Yes. And I can now go to Helm's Deep. And now I can go to Helm's Deep. Alright, looks like we got just in time. Let's go find the soldier. And it looks like somebody else has been here too. What? Uh, anyway. Uh, where are you at? Oh, excuse me. We need to take a look at his fast travel real quick. Ah, ha ha, that is the problem. And there is no... You changed on me. You guys get to see me work on some back end stuff. There we go. That should be fixed. Yep. Alright. Well, take note of the bug. Alright, let me get out of here. Had to fix it because of what you just saw. Let's get out of here. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Uh, oh. Yeah, I should be able to do that. Uh, that. And that. Um, I'll just hide you right there. Anyway, dead body. Helm's Deep. This is one of the areas that has actually had a remodel from what had been in before. Uh, while it was very nice in the first place, it was missing some things. And I was not entirely happy with it. 
and did a little bit of work and some looking and opted to replace it with this uh, and once we get up to the top here you'll see some of the other reasons uh, it was very much you could tell it was a build that was kind of carved into and just was never really 100% happy with it so with this new build as you can see there are now more mountains there is a river uh, the biggest thing that I was not happy with that now exists is the caverns behind the keep. Of course, the wall now has ways up and down like it should properly. And... Let me talk to Mr. Zalgan. And Mr. Theodic, greetings, order. I'll bring you to this part of our realm. King Theoden asked me to help. Well, indirectly. Sarah actually asked me to help, but apparently she was here on orders of the king. I certainly could use the help. We're always patrolling this keep. Our enemies would like nothing else than destroy this safe haven or take control of it. We guard it to keep it safe. Why are you here alone? Well, I'm currently waiting for the rest of my patrol to arrive. I fear they may have stumbled into trouble. The raids have become increasingly more frequent, and only with myself here, I could go very badly. Phew. Sounds like a piece of cake. Got me in. Alrighty. Let us get rid of the arrow. And the bones. And the flesh. And let's go. I know where those raids are. And we are going to hover over there because they actually happen over in yes. this area. And that is on purpose. Uh, and it will get very busy very fast. Woohoo! Die! Uh, we need more. Can I break these? I broke the other one. Don't want to respawn. Oh well. Hello, horsey. I think we need it to be night time. Well, that being the case, give me a moment. Give me my arrow. Or don't give me my arrow. I am going to sit here and wait for night time. And when it is, I will be back. So, I was looking at the time. I will call, we're, you know what, we're going to call this the episode as it gets night. We'll call this the episode for today, and we will pick up in the next episode. Just so that you guys know, this is actually, as you've noticed, the start of Season 3, because we're starting a whole new content update. Uh, so I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy the content. I'm going to kind of show you, not so much tutorially, but just kind of play through semi-roleplay. Thank you guys for coming by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, social media all over the place if you want to talk to me. But everybody, you guys have a great day.